please don't be Nova Corps. Please don't be Nova Corps. Please don't be Nova Corps. It is Nova Corps. Hope. Uh, did 
you say Hal is Hope? Um, <clears throat> there's a, a, a thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. We need to get rid of that animal now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thingy. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Not really, no. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is gonna hide it in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter. <laughs> Good. This is a new crap. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently. Come on, Corral. You know me. We've been to hell and back. Sure, I've done some shady stuff since the war, like... really shady stuff. But junking? I just caught you pink-handed, leaving the quarantine zone. Technically, yes, but we weren't scavenging. Right. Peter Quill, I found these items in the, uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill? Of planet C-53, under galactic law ZXB-47, I am putting you and your crew under arrest for Actually, can I call you back? What? Please, tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech. Wh what? Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate and I melt your face! Eat some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a class 3 biohazard. You want to end up in the kiln? Hide the llama. What? What about my stuff? Rocket, I know Corel. I'm pretty sure I can get her to go easy on us about the tech, but a potential biohazard? You slept with a cop? She wasn't a cop at the time. The point is, we were close. You just have to trust me. I am Groot. And that would be your boarding party. Just speak to Centurion Corral. Silence, prisoner. Commander has no time to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Novacore licensing permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the galaxy? What? No. Rocket. So, I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of... Most awesome names. Contributing members. Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos. Deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer. Convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero? Often grumpy. Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. That's it? That's all you wrote? It was a character limitation. Uh, Sorry, I just need- Cadet Gold, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? It says right here. Prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. <laughs> Aren't you a little young for the core? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? I should check with the captain. No. No, 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 no. She, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough. If I may? That. They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. There goes Plan B. You don't need a Plan B. I got this. No. You do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now fall in line. Time to go, prisoners. Watch the jacket. Get that gold. 
You know the arrest protocols? All memorized, sir. First thing we do... First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business-like folk on legitimate-like business. We're not hunting an illegal creature in illegal space. Everyone just do what they say. When I see Corral, I'll explain... The captain isn't going to see you. According to protocol, you're to be taken straight to the brig. Hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes! No faith, energy, no power. No power. No containment. A single spot. The techs are looking at it. They say that. They cannot even fathom. How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. What the flark is a Grand Unifier? Grand Unifier Raker. Leader of the Church of... Universal... something. He was floating dead in the quarantine zone. Looking for God. Let's go. We caught him just like we caught you. Difference is, I know the captain. As I was saying, if you just tell the captain that I... Mom explicitly said she doesn't want to see you. Yeah, Quill. Wait. Just to be no! super clear you on the mom. That. you, Nikki. <laughs> okay, Nikki, here's the plan. You're gonna jump and grab my legs while I hold on for dear life. That doesn't sound like... Trust me, kiddo. We got this. Help me with this. Ready? Together. On three, two, one. <laughs> go, go. Okay. We need to keep moving. 
this way. Yeah, Nikki. Whoa. Just stay I close. I knew there was something wrong about that church here. Who goes fishing for God in a junkyard? Oh, man. This is bad. Just give me a sec. You know, I could probably help with the door if we undo these cuffs. Regulation 3B. Never undo restraints. Come on. You clearly need my help. No. You're my prisoner. And I got this. <sighs> Obviously. Ah! Okay, we're gonna have to find another way. We sure there isn't a way through here? I'm in charge here. Whoa! <laughs> you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. You? Oh, dandy. Okay. This way. Shouldn't we be going up? Back toward the others? There's another blast door down here. Whoa! Are you kidding me? Relax! You're fine! Ish! I mentioned how usual my jet boots will be right now! Okay. I can do this. Not to or anything. Most fair. Can you please stop squirming? I'm trying to focus. Okay, okay. Yes! Got it! Through here! Woo! <laughs> nice work. Thanks. You didn't do too bad yourself, pirate. Call me Star-Lord. Or Peter, or, you know, Nova Cadet Butt Saver. Okay. Peter. So, listen. I have some good news and some bad news about your friends. Give me the good news. They're all fine. I mean, they all have life signs. So, what's the bad news? They've been processed and put in the brig. Come on. We'll be safe through here. Flark! Pipes must have burst. Should we try using that thingamajig of yours to call someone? We don't need help. I know what I'm doing. Help me block this fire so we can get through. Sure. Just that everyone must be worried. Captain's kid goes missing. Captain's kid... Easy does it. There, see? You don't need to worry about me. Enough people around here do that already. Look, as the adult in the room... <laughs> adult isn't exactly how my mom described you. H how did Corel... Describe me. Liar. Juvenile. Junker. Pirate. Is that robot wearing makeup? What? Oh, yeah. That's just it's. I, um, I know all the bots down here. They're kind of my friends, I guess. I reprogrammed most of them. And gave them faces. Maybe. No, I mean it's cool. Give them personality. Very cool. Okay, wow. That's <laughs> just blatantly gonna ignore me and go crawling into a dead end. For your information, there's an escape hatch back here I could totally use to run away. But out of respect for your authority, I'm gonna, you know, ignore it and follow your lead. Regulation 2B. Prisoners must stay close at all times. You know, I didn't have a lot of friends at your age either. Granted, I was in prison, but still. So mom was right about you. It was a Shatari prison. I was just a kid. I have so many questions. Yeah. Were your parents in prison too? No, my mom, uh, died. I didn't know my dad. How do you know my mom, exactly? Uh, we fought together on Mercury during the war. She was, a, is, a real spitfire. More like real controlling. And bossy and judgmental. You're just a kid, Nikki. You don't know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out of the escape pods, Nikki. <laughs> I kind of know what you mean. You do? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you, Peter. It's restricted space, Peter. <laughs> yep. That's her. Where do you think you're going? Just making sure this place is safe and secure from the, you know, fire. Any day now. Right, right. Just taking it all in. I'm still in charge here, you know. Of course you are. It's a dead end. Trust me. Of course I trust you. Clearly. 
quick reminder that only one of us knows the way out. Could have fooled me. If this is an attempt to escape your mom's ship, I really need to know, because I may or may not be super interested. Just really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. What? No, no. Oh, wow. Don't laugh. No, no. This is cool. It's like your secret hideout, right? I definitely prefer this to the brig. We're not staying. I just need to check on Ultimo. His gyros have been all screwy. Take your time. Hey, this is Mercury, right? Uh-huh. It's supposed to represent this big battle Mom was part of. You said you were there, right? Oh, yeah. Your mom was dead in the water until me and the Ravagers showed up. You should really fix this. You... want me to draw you in? In the interest of historical accuracy. Need a hand? Nope. But thanks. I'm almost done. Secret stuff. Off limits. No adults. I get it. Anyway, I'm all done here. We should probably get back before Mom completely freaks. Yeah, I've seen your mom overreact before. It's like, I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Tell me about it. More crawling, yay! So, you get where I'm coming from, right? Like, if you do end up talking to my mom... You don't want her to know about your secret hideout. I get it. Uh, yes. And also everything else. Everything else, like... Like me having a passkey that overrides parts of the ship. The whole official trainee thing. Um, me being anywhere near the hangar bay. You know, just me in general. You never saw me. Need a hand? Yes! Got it! Mom? I can explain. Nikki. I'm fine. Mom, seriously. A-okay. Barely a scratch. What in Hall's name were you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad. Running around with criminals. Alleged criminals. You almost died. Do you have any idea how rounded you are right now? Mom! You promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers. Or sneaking around behind my back. Look, it's my fault some guy's ship blew up. Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner. You're a child. Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa. We've all been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath and recognize that maybe we've all made some mistakes. Make sure the fire is out and the hangar secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two? With me. I knew you'd overreact. You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect Peter misspoke, something he often tends to do. So I suggest you worry less about what he said, and more about what I'm saying now. What you did was extremely dangerous. Do you even get that? It wasn't that dangerous. Yes, it was. Upper level. Captain's quarters. Fine. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. <laughs> what, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah. I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom! <laughs> I seriously have no idea what you're talking about. You know, this reminds me of the last time I was stuck in an elevator. I was with this Shi'ar girl, and she... Ew! What is wrong with you? She was a lovely person. So no one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. You already know everything. No, I don't. I know you're a magnet and that you some... I'm small. Okay. I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security, or through the hangar bay checkpoint, or the maintenance tunnel blast door. Your mom deserves to know what happened. An exploding ship is a very serious thing. I didn't blow up a ship! Okay, clearly not what I meant. How was my 12-year-old daughter anywhere in the vicinity of that ship? 
12. Oh, wow, I thought she was at least 16. Peter! What? She really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid. Too smart. She keeps bypassing security. Unless you have a level 6 access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. Nicolette Gold, empty your pockets. No. You empty your pockets. It was me. Yeah, all those locked doors back there, I, I hacked them. You hack them? Yeah, I'm a hacker now. I, I hack stuff. You know, beep, bop, boop, 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 beep. I told him it was restricted. That doesn't explain the falsified orders. I don't know what to tell you, Mom. Your security staff have been sleeping on the job. To be continued. Disengage lockdown. So, can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters, and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But, Mom! I can make it 30 cycles. Zone trespassers, missing kid. I have no idea. Chewy. I can't believe you still have him. I can't believe you survived. Mercury was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Twelve-year-old daughter, we didn't have during the war. Twelve years ago, when we... Peter. When we picked up your ship, part of me was excited. At all, you're still the same... I've changed. Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not... Wow, you're out. The finds inhibited tech lying around your ship. Well, that's all they found, right? Okay, okay. It's close to get in if I didn't have these. Why do I No, come on. When have I ever. You won't regret it. You've got three cycles, Peter. Not four, not five, three. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship. And you will all go to prison. Gotcha. We won't let you down. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 7,000 units is a small 7, price. 7,000 units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we gonna get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay! So we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. I am Groot. You are Groot. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. 
I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that rodents hoard nuts, stolen technology, units. <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it. Now. There ain't nothing to fetch. Groot blew our stash on Contraxia, and the rest I gave to Quill and Gamora for the DAS quarantine zone access code. A likely story. Why don't you go bother someone else? I intend to. Open this door! I know you are in there, sentient tree! Do not think that I do not know what you are up to. Your rodent co-conspirator has clearly stashed his illicit units in there. Why does this thing look so... I don't go into your room and touch your stuff, Quill. What? You hacked my visor and added a scoreboard to it while I was sleeping. Eh, that was different. I improved it. Also, did anyone tell you that you snore? I thought Drax was bad, but wow. Quill. I don't... <laughs> yeah, so what is this? That is clearly a spinal control unit. Yes, right, of course. Back on Half-World, Kree's... Uh, they'd pre... Huh. How many of you super soldiers were there on Half-World? When the Kree started. A hundred. She was the first one not to die from the control unit. And Lila is also a... What? A raccoon? Or... not. A rac... You gotta understand. So? It's out of our ca... Well, we did the lab with modulate. I heard it... <laughs> Doesn't matter now. Reminder. Uh... Wow. Sure. Hey, Bluebird, you copy? I know you think I sold you out. Uh, Who are you talking to? What's a Bluebird? It, um, I was the kid. Dondu Udanta, leader of the rap Bluebird, as it. <laughs> Even now. Um, it wasn't. How did you two meet? We met up. Wagers were new. They were. The Ravagers had a simple code. Steal from everyone. Yandu said it made them neutral. But they weren't. I specifically remember several Shatari transports being hit when I was still... You know. They hit just as many resist... Yandu ended up on... Mm -hmm. Nova Corps base. You were... I did. If that... I felt the same. Who I wanted... Yes. Exactly. Functional fan... Space... Mind if we put a pin in this? A pin? Pick it up another time? I should, uh, get- Sure. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? 37 units? We appear to be- if we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill. I know, I know. We can reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always there. holding out my on My figurines quill. are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. Of Guys! Let's just... hear Drax out this time. Fin Fang Foom is the fiercest, most legendary monster in the galaxy. Shatters the bones of all who go after it. Skulls of the greatest hunters are impaled upon its fangs. Well, imagine the glory of such a death. 
Our goal isn't death, Drax. Glorious death. Out of the question. Well, in that case... I am Groot. I am Groot. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters. And you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most... I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. A small and filled with rage. The monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he and I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think we're... Yeah, well, I also vote... Two votes each. Well, I think Groot's more convincing. First of all, thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're gonna bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. We're not seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. There! That's Lady Hellbender's fortress. Get us in close, Quill. I don't want to walk in this. Whoa! <laughs> yep, no problem. Flying the wrong way. No, nah, he's not flying at all. Guys, relax! Just one... ...pointer... ...and just been... <laughs> Piece of cake! <sighs> you what?! We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. <sighs> Next time, I'm flying. Are you sure the leafy one is ready for this? Nope. He'll be fine. Don't you get all gloomy right now. Don't help. Because your constant complaining does? <laughs> you you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? You'd be thrilled to finally set foot on Seknarf 9, Drax, but you're awfully composed. In other circumstances, I would be thrilled. But we will humiliate ourselves by trying to sell sentient lumber to Lady Hellbender. Don't she like lumber? What about the legend of her mighty battle axe? She possesses a number of weapons. Not all axes are meant to cut down trees. The lady won't hurt you either way, Groot. I'll make sure of that. Uh, why don't we ever get missions on nice, warm, dry planets? I am Groot. No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. Of course, it had to be raining. I hate wet. They say that Seknarf 9 is inhospitable to soft-bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. 
So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Helvet. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? The fact you ain't sure don't vote so good. Jacket, all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team hiking trip. That's just a fancy word for walking. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. Just face Lady Hellbender's rage head on. Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitauri traitor to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Your reputation is why she tests us. Can we refocus here? We're here to trick some lady, not kick- <laughs> oh! That was way too close. Well played, Lady Hellbender. Still doing this? Yes! Guys! Focus! Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit. Or we'll get blown right off! Good advice! should have gone to Maku 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Thing's been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. I am good. Eh, not sure. It ain't moving now. I would be wary, Rudy. Uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little. Black! It's not alone. Get ready.
take your word on that. We need to destroy the jelly. The prickly interior must be shattered. monster around here looks like? We are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets. We sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Where the flark is she going? <sighs> All fails, shoot stuff. There's a trail going through the jungle! Try to find a way up! Drax. You could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodents would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Well, I continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. This husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. Great. We made it halfway up. Now what? Maybe if we can lower that wing somehow. There they are. Wing controls. All right, Rocket. That wing control panel's all yours. It still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Flark! That don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. for trouble, assassin. Ooh, mysterious. Found something, Quill? Yeah, some kind of cave. Maybe it's got hidden treasure. Uh, please don't let there be a space baron here. And hello, mystery goo. Monster eggs, yay. Okay, so note to self, if it looks like a monster cave and smells like a monster cave, and you're on a monster planet... No, just try to stay ready! Dudes, I took care of it. What, Scott? I knew I should have come down earlier. Wait, so where are you? Cave with eggs. Where are you? <laughs> nice hidden passage. I ain't far, Quill. Scream really loud if you find another blob creature. You no, know I will. Hey, um, listen, while well, it's just the two of us. What's up? Uh, you're busy exploring. Just meet me in the main cave when you're done looking around. All right. I'm exploring Quill, because, uh, I really need to talk to you.
You got a real knack for sniffing out. We're fine. You worry too much. Still no sign of whatever made those claw marks? No, just some jelly dudes. Then it must be out on the hunt. The depressions are deep. This thing has got to weigh more than all of us put together. Need a quill. There's further proof that we are not broken. If we turn back every time we have wanted. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. a way out of this jungle. Why? It's dry down here. Wouldn't you rather be wet than lost? Not particularly. to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary menagerie. <laughs> oh, now where'd he go? Hey, Quill! You out laying your eggs or something? That is not how Terrans reproduce. Not how most Terrans reproduce. That's what makes our Quill so special. Interesting. I don't lay eggs! Hmm. Looks more alien than the other ones. They are all alien. I know they're all... Uh, dead end. That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what do you do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face. Put me. We're not throwing rockets. Very well. You sons of fucking dogs! How will we cross? Don't face Look the around, we'll find another way. What's Shatari Tech doing on a backwater mud ball like this? Not again. Both know it's too far. The statues are not watching us. There has to be something we can use. Maybe a tall tree? <laughs> Taller than Groot. It would be easier to throw the rodent. No, it would not. What if he breaks a leg? We still have three. No one's throwing rocks. This is why Hellbender is so hot for monsters. Just another religious nut. He is not a nut of any kind. Wow! It is dark in here! If you bump into any monsters, let us know. Monster Planet! Right. Over a cliff. 
You are overreacting. I did not throw you. A miracle it's still standing in these storms. I may have angered them. All right. Let's try not to fall. That's your pep talk? Great place to leave a sculpture. Wait, wait. Hear that? What's up, people? Incoming! I will face all of Lady Hellbender's needs! Maybe she fails to refill her stuff! This won't hurt! Much! Trash! Kick their butt! Somewhere. All right, Gamora. Pretty sure it's this way. Fifty units says it ain't. I... No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure, she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. I heard she shoots lasers out of her eyes. Now we're talking. Uh, I have not heard that one. I heard there are actually nine of her. That's why they call it Sektar 9. Ha! That, that is preposterous. That one's preposterous. Uh, group? You don't mind cutting us apart? They say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. An old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships? Or one Chitauri infiltrator? I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? Nope. Now what's the whole thing? Fear. No! Just thinking someone else should cross the death pit first. Me and Groot are the merchandise. Well, just go. No! You just someone go! Someone go! Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. Easy does it. says there's something down there. Monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Oh, no. Yup, definitely saw the giant head.
nice catch. You're welcome. Don't get used to it. Peter Cliff, we are not alone here. Yeah, I got it. Anyone know what that is? Stumpy's running away. That its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. And it is settled. Gotta scale this down contraption. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good question. I'm starting to wonder if I should be the one with a fancy visor. I wouldn't trust a thing you said. We agree for once. I too would prefer Peter Quill's incompetence to the rodent's lies. Huh. Looks like there's one of those vintage workbench things back here. Okay, Rocky, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. Small marvel crafted. And voila! And it's done! for you so that we can scale this contraption. Ah, right. Hey, well, mind giving the old girl a scan? I agree. Maybe part of the ship's still functional. Gamora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out. Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. See anything useful up there? I got eyes on this gunked up reactor. A couple of shots to bring it down. All right. Pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty Lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. This. The unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. Yes! That is why I can easily carry this great weight. Do you even know where to put it? I have merely followed our leader's directions. 
No giant monster. All good. Gamora, can you use the reactor to get up the ship? Not when it's over there. Gotta say, I get some sick satisfaction from seeing this thing buried in the ground. Had a few run-ins with Nova Core rocket? More like run fronts. <laughs> These things can turn on a dime. What's that I hear? The wing cables calling down to us? They want a date with your sword, Gamora. This brings back memories! Impressive. See? That was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I helped in spirit. Oh, right. Slippery wind pummeled treetops, here we come. You know, I uh, really admire our team's commitment to safety. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. There it is, Lady Hellbender's fortress. It's gotten bigger, that's for sure. No, it is not getting bigger. We are getting closer. Thanks, Drax. What's Captain distracted up to now? If he calls us over, I'm done. Whoa, 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 guys! This is totally sweet pile of crap on the ground. So interesting. Looks like there's a way down here. Quill, you gotta see this ship. Okay, here we go. Oh, slimy. Uh, guys! You might want to wait to come down here. Oh, why the flark is so deep? In a jam voice? Uh, you think? Some smack breach! The sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something! Like what? Quill? They I've only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, you pull scud like this. Just, just, just leave the guns me, alone. Me, I, I, Quill, I just want to see how they tick. Otherwise, it might as well be magic or sorcery. Guys, DNA coil looked like this guy was some kind of morphing animal or sorcery. Here we go again. Suppose that puddle was their brethren. More smells the same. 
close, but we're gonna need to get up there. I'm thinking we can climb up and over. Ding, ding, ding! Give that man a gold star! Let's figure out if Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. It is. It's more stubborn than expected. Impossible! You will not stay in place. You couldn't just hold it for a while longer? You try Drax, can you try again? Why? It does not stay. I'm working it out. Trust me. We've gotta find a way to lock it in place. Get it! Impressive, Peter Now we gotta get the next one out. Rocket, I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, Shatari ship, full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. Oh, what reeks in here? That's... Oh, Scott. Ah, ah. You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat dead Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what, Larkin? I'm blowing it up. What? Hang on! Think about all the booby traps and... Jump-started the thing. Rocket, you okay? <coughs> yes, and dry now, too. Yes, Peter Quill. Onward to the palace of the great giantess. Oh, so she's a giantess now. Oh, man. Another murder tentacle. Careful. It might be... That is not a happy monster. Well, at least it left. Back to its brood mother. Lady Hellbender. Oh. Yeah, I doubt it, Drax. The fortress is this way, Peter Quill. I know, I'm just doing some exploring. Ain't we done enough of that already? I'm pretty sure exploring is close. Maybe he went the wrong way, but it's too stubborn to admit it. In that case, Quill is the greatest explorer I ever met. Everything okay, Peter? Yeah, just, you know, turning water into ice. Go on. I think I can see my house from here. What are you doing up there? Scout type stuff. Scouting. Looks like we uh, need to keep going towards the fortress and not away from it. Excellent work, Peter. I used to believe that the rodent had the most impressive firearm in our. Come on. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? This time I insist we hurl the foul beast. And I insist we push muscles over the side of the cliff. To what end? Yours! You are dead! How many times do I have to say it? We're not throwing rocket. Ridiculous. You were holding us back to spare the beast's feelings. When has he done the same for us? Put him down. Let's be a lesson to you. Oh, I'll show you what a lesson looks like! Knock it off, guys! We're supposed to be professionals. We're better than this. I'm not. Letting a measly Chitauri installation stop our progress is unprofessional. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. You're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Oh, anybody else smell that? It really stinks back here. Yes, it smells putrid. Ugh. Where is it coming from? Oh, what the fuck? Ugh. Not talking. 
Not even breathing. Yep. Definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will regret this. <gasps> that is disturbingly fragrant. Uh, I am... Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? Whoa! <laughs> okay, that got my... <clears throat> blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Uh, because it's annoying as scud? Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter! Why would it taste like that? We can use this. You know, we really got to work on your taste, but... The cage! You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our... with our monster peacefully walking beside us. We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you You're whispering? Thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a only problem. Release the beast, let me dispose of it because it's so well for you. We need a better plan of it. Yes. Stumpy's back! I will fashion pets! You are so close! Throw that tracks! Jelly, then slimy, stinky crawl spaces, and now all these monsters. I hate this flirting planet! You hate everything, Rocket. True, but especially the stinky slime tunnel part. Hey, we're a team. If we're gonna smell like butt, we're gonna smell like butt together. That is most eloquent, Peter Quill. I will smell like butt with you. Yeah, really great speech. <laughs> Groot says we should check things out over here. Groot, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. That thing heavy, Quill? Surprisingly light. If we put our monster in it, will he shrink as well? Uh, no, it would compress anything inside to a mound of twitching gore. Pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. For you, maybe. I love it. So, when are the rest of us gonna get jet boots? It takes years of special training to operate these things. You had years of jet boot lessons. No, but the guy I took them off of did. Stole them. He was dead. Flew into a ceiling fan. <laughs> Deep 
freeze. Whoa! Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas flat. So if we're gonna haggle with the monster, how much are we asking for our monster? What do you mean, don't get greedy? We're running a business here. We need to make a profit this time. Hey, well, better not forget what we talked about earlier. It's nothing. Don't worry, Rocket. Whoa, that is definitely in my top ten fortresses. Ticking time bomb on the ship. Guys, every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing our best plan yet. Say that again? What if we brought one of those ugly suckers all the way here only to find out Lady H already had a full set? That would have sucked big time. Exactly. If even got that far. What if we'd been towing that thing when Nova Corps intercepted us? They would have taken our beast. See? This is working out. Sure, in a kind of bumpy, chaotic way, but we've still... Let's just get this done. You can't be serious. Okay. It's farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a fork in Infinity Bridge, is what it is. Ah, oh, you're being dramatic, Rodent. Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you Oh! Right! Cage. The point of even getting the fork in thing is looking like the main business. Groot, you ready to squeeze in? Peter Quill, there's still time to reconsider. The tree creature is not very monstrous. Maybe we're going about this the wrong way. Rock is the best escape artist I know. If things go south after the transaction, we're making the right choice. But we voted on this. I don't feel right putting Groot in a cage. That's because it ain't right. Peter, she'll he... go for it. I think he's made his point. <laughs> Drat, Gamora, can you help me with this? No. What? Why? To guarantee your safety as our leader. Oh, come on. <laughs> She's got you there. Can you stop worrying so Okay, here we go. song or something we could sing to kill the time? Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called... Please Stop. All right, yeah. Okay. Wait, is Please Stop the name of your song? No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0.9, 2.1, 0.3 clicks, 4.5, 0.4 clicks, 0.5 clicks, 0.6 clicks, clicks. For the love of Clark, stop, stop counting, counting clicks. clicks. We could take turns. 
13 whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. Give me a sec. I didn't think you'd actually come up. Maybe being on time is my new thing. Oh, right. We'll see about that when I have to get... You know, I think I'm... Nice try. S sit. Don't worry, I'm... I like your singing. Well. Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's gonna be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are gonna be falling off. Mom. Home. Why would I wish for anything? <laughs> Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Rio tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on. It's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. That was ages ago, and this was- Exactly. PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity, like butts and stuff. You're not helping your- No, I just- I- We can still do all that stuff. Or some of it. Tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house, and you know it. Pretty please? In the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was. I know! You were standing up for someone. No. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a... Get it while I finish up in the kitchen. Hey, Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. So what, now you're too old for gifts? What? No! I was just looking around, remembering things. Grandma and Grandpa. <laughs> Wish they could have been here too. I don't know much about art, but I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. Sky's clear. Wonder if Mom will spend the night stargazing since I'm heading to the movie. I know it sounds crazy, but Mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right? So, as 
as I was saying, I can handle a little solo extraction. No offense, but you ain't exactly invested in my safe return. My skin, my plan. Your call, Peter. The fork it is. I'm the one in the box, lady. Since I was for sure listening, I'm gonna go with Gamora's solo whatever. You're gonna let her just go in alone and steal me back. I am? I, I mean, I am. I've done this sort of thing a hundred times. And every time were you sneaking in to kill someone? Mostly. Great. Look what we've got coming. Uh, are they serious? Guess we're going to find out. I'm Groot. Name? Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. I'm Groot. Bonafide monster sellers. Today, anyway. What's in the box? A monstrous abomination from Halfworld and the meanest SOB in the Quadrant. Pass. Pass? Rocket! I mean... Things puny. It is a hell beast, the namesake of your mistress. It would be wise to reconsider. Alright, get going. Before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it, I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Hell beast? It is an accurate moniker. The little beast has a hellish demeanor. I like it. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. I would show more caution, Peter Quill. If Lady Hellbender realizes our deceit, her vengeance will be swift. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got hell in her name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. The Monster Queen has a monster army. Any chance they're the zookeepers? With guns? I have never seen one of those tamed. But I have seen one trample a man to pulp. It's fine. Worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Your genius plan is run away? Backup plan? Which we're not gonna need, but yeah. Hey, it's not like she can chase after us with her old monster mash. <clears throat> oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the planets in hospital surface? Because we'll fly like a one-eyed badoon. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chased across the galaxy level of no, at least. Wow! Look at this place! I'm in the wrong line of work! It is appropriately impressive for a warrior of Lady Hellbender's stature. Someday, that's gonna be ours. Ha! <laughs> not yours. Come over here to Kate, and say that again. Good, Hellbeast! Let them hear your bestial howls! Louder, so that it echoes through this entire structure! <laughs> 